Hello everyone, welcome back to the yet another video in the series. In this video lecture, we shall solve this problem dungeon game. In this problem, we have a dungeon. A dungeon is basically a matrix of dimensions m cross n. So the problem statement has a story which contains a princess which is imprisoned in the bottom right corner of the given dungeon. So in the matrix, the princess is sitting in the bottom right corner corner of the matrix while the knight has to rescue the princess sitting in that cell. The knight starts at the top left room and he must find his way to reach the bottom right corner. Fine. The knight has a certain initial health when it starts navigating his way which is represented by a positive integer. If while navigating the health of the knight drops to zero or below, the knight dies immediately. Now, in the matrix representing the given dungeon, some of the rooms are guarded by demons. Demons are basically represented by negative integers. The knight loses health upon entering these rooms or cells. Other rooms which do not contain these demons either contain a positive integer which is some kind of magic orb which increases the health of the knight by that amount or it contains zero which represents an empty cell then the knight has to reach the princess as, as quickly as possible therefore the knight only decides to move only rightwards and downwards so what we have to do in this problem we have to return the initial minimum health of the knight so that it is sufficient to rescue the princess. That's all we want to calculate. So we have to note that any room can contain threats that means demons or power-ups. Even the first room where the knight starts may contain demons or power-ups while the bottom room where the princess is imprisoned may contain these power-ups or demons. The input sample will contain a dungeon or a matrix of dimensions n cross m which contains integers negative as well as positive while in the output we have to return one integer representing the minimum initial health of the knight which is just sufficient to rescue the princess while navigating the way starting from the top left corner ending at bottom right corner. The constraints of the problem are the dimensions goes up to 200 that means the largest dungeon that we can have has dimensions of 200 cross 200 while the values ranges from minus 1000 to 1000. Let better understand the problem statement using an example. So let's take this example in this example, we have a dungeon of dimensions 3 cross 3 and the princess is located here while the princess is sitting in this cell in this castle. So we start from this cell, the prince starts from this cell and he has to find his way to reach the bottom right corner cell which is this cell and we need to find the optimal path which gives me the minimum initial health required for the prince. Fine. And the constraint is that the prince can move only right and down. That's all. So let's see the number of ways in which the prince can reach the princess. So this is one of the ways to reach the princess starting from this cell ending at this cell. And the initial health required to navigate along this path is so the constraint says that the health of the prince must not drop less than one it must stay positive along the path so let's say the prince starts with the health of so let's say we start from this cell and the initial health of the prince is x then while we move through this cell the health reduces to x minus 2 because there is a demon which reduces the health by 2. Then we move to this cell which reduces the health by 3. Then it moves to this cell where the health is increased by 3. 
because we have a power up here. Then in this cell, the health again increases by one while we reach the ending cell and here the health decreases by five. So finally we have this path where the health changes from X to this value and we must make sure that this health must not go less than one at any cell. So how would we make sure? So how would we do that? So all we have to do in this path, find the value, we have to predict the value which is least. So you can see that the value with the most negative terms will be the least value. So which one is the least value? You can see that this is, this represents x minus 2 minus 3 which is x minus 5 and this term represents x minus 6. So you can see that these two are the smallest terms while this term is the smallest of all the terms that we encounter along this path. Hence, this smallest term must be greater than equals to 1. Fine. And x must be greater than equals to 1 plus 6 that is 7. And the minimum value the x can have is 7 because we know that if we plot on a number line, then the x can go starting from 7 up to any positive value. So the minimum x value which is possible is 7. So x is 7, which represents the minimum initial health the prince must have if he wants to move along this path. That's how we compute the initial health. Fine. Now, how many paths are there if we move to right? and down only. So how many paths are there in the given dungeon of dimensions n cross m? We can see that we have to make n minus 1 right step n minus 1 down steps and m minus 1 right step to reach the bottom right cell. Hence the total number of steps that we need to reach the bottom right cell in any path would be n plus m minus 2. Hence, and the number of ways to choose the right steps or the down steps will be n minus 1 or m minus 1. So this represents the number of paths that we have in this matrix. So for this matrix of dimensions 3 cross 3, we would have 3 plus 3, 6 minus 2, 4, c, 2 paths, which is 6. So we have total 6 paths to explore. So we have total six paths to explore and we have to find that path which gives me this x as minimum. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Let's see how to build the intuition to solve this problem. You can see that. So we start from this cell and we want to reach this cell while making two moves that is right and down move. Standing here, what we can do, we have two choices. Either we move here or we move down. Then the obvious thought is to explore both choices. That is move right and move down. Then check which one of the paths gives me the minimum health value. And let's say the minimum health value given by the paths to reach this bottom right cell from this cell that is 0, 1 is x and to reach bottom right cell from this cell that is 1 0 is y so to reach bottom right cell from this cell that is the cell number 0 0 we have to take the minimum of these two and we have to add 2 in that fine so you're getting my point let's say x is the minimum of these two okay so we have to take minimum of x and y then we would add 2 in this. Why we have to add 2? Because 2 points are subtracted right from here in this starting cell. So this 2 is added to compensate for these negative points. Fine. So that's how we solve this problem. So we can have a intuition of a recursive solution where given the results for these cells, we could find the result for this cell. Similarly, given the results for these cells, we would be able to find the results for this and so on. 
Hence, we have to find a recursive solution to this problem. Let's see how we can do that. So, imagine a function minimum health path which gives me the minimum sum path or the minimum health required to reach the bottom right corner starting from the top left corner. Then, how would the body of this function looks like? We can see that we are standing at cell ij ij can be any cell and we want to reach this cell that is bottom right cell we explore the cell to the right of this cell and to the left of this cell that is the cell number ij plus 1 and the cell number i plus 1 j so we explore these two cells that means we call the same function for these two cells to get the results for these neighbor cells so that we can find the answer for the cell on which we are standing so that's the idea so this is the first step to build the body of this function okay so this is the first step we are calling the function for the right cell and for the cell which is down to which is just below the cell on which we are standing then we take the minimum of the results returned by these function calls and we subtract the value of the cell in which we are standing. So why we are subtracting the value because let's say the cell contains a negative value. So if this value is negative then that much health would be added here to compensate for this negative value to compensate for the loss that the demons are making. If this value is positive then in that case this health which is which is gained in this cell would be used in the next cell hence it will be subtracted right from here and we do not have to acquire any extra health in that case so that case is handled here if the result is positive that means after we have moved from cell ij to the bottom right cell we still have a positive health then we return that health otherwise if the health becomes negative then we return one why do we return one from here it is because this cell contains enough positive health to sustain our prince along the path which he has taken therefore we do not have to acquire any extra health all we have to do is a health of one so that this so that the health does not go zero that's why we are returning one from here okay then since this is a recursive code we require a base case what would be the base case for this solution the prince reaches the bottom right cell in that case so the base case is simple all we need to check the first base case is that if we cross the boundary of the given matrix in that case the cost the health which is required to reach the hypothetical cell which is present outside outside of the boundary of the matrix would be very high because it is not possible to reach there so we return a very large number right from here otherwise if we reach the given cell that is the bottom right cell in that case we check if the value at that cell is positive if it is positive then we do not require any extra health to move in this cell therefore we return one why this one is to sustain our prince prince alive because the health of the prince must not go below one along any path that we are considering optimal therefore we return one from here otherwise if the value at the ending cell is negative then we have to give that much health to the prince so as to sustain him to reach this cell therefore we subtract that much value from one and return right from here rest is same which we considered in the previous slide so that's how the function is working let's analyze the time and space complexity for this here you can see that let's call this function for from the top left cell and the recursion tree would be like this we have two choices and therefore the branching factor is 2 while the height of this tree is maximum of 
the number of rows and the number of columns therefore that would be the time complexity now what is the problem with this solution we can see that we have the largest dungeon of size 200 and 2 raised to the power 200 is a very high number it will not work for the given judge limit which is one second therefore we have to improve upon this solution how we can improve it let's observe two patterns if this follow if this code follows that is optimal substructure and overlapping sub problem so we can see that the solution to a larger problem is constructed from the solution to smaller problem therefore it do have the optimal substructure property while the problems are also repeating you can see that this function call is repeating therefore if we store the result which is calculated here in some matrix that result can be used here so that the recalculation of the function for these values is avoided so that concept is called memoization so we have to memo we have to memoize the given code so to memoize the given code we take a matrix of dimensions n plus 1 cross m plus 1 fine and we initialize the given matrix with minus 1 the minus 1 is used to check if the result for that particular cell is calculated or not the rest code stays the same all we have to do is to add this condition so we have to add this condition it checks if the result for the particular cell ij is evaluated or not if it is evaluated so this is the case where minus 1 is not there that means the result has been calculated then we return the result right from here otherwise we call the function for the right cell and for the cell just below it and we take the minimum of these cells and finally we store this result in the cell that we are calling the function for here so this is going to reduce the the unnecessary recalculation for the results fine so all we have to do after memoization after memoization we have to compute the results for the unique i and j pairs fine so the function call will be made for the unique rows row and column number so how many unique and column number are there so we can see that if there are n rows and m columns then we would have n cross m unique such pairs and that would be the time complexity because these many function calls will be there what would be the space complexity the space complexity would be n cross m because we are using a matrix of dimensions n cross m that is this dp matrix while in the previous case in the recursive solution we didn't have this matrix although we were consuming stack space therefore at the cost of auxiliary space we are reducing the time complexity so this is the memoized code let's see the another approach of solving the this dp problem which we call as tabulation or building the solution in a bottom-up manner so in this approach we started from the top with a larger problem and we eventually so in the tabulation approach we build the solution in the bottom-up manner here all we have to do is to initialize the matrix then we put a very large number in the extra column and row that we declared here so that it helps us in the base case so to handle the base case we, in, we initialize those cells with this very large number and the rest of the cells are initialized with zero so it's not minus one here they are initialized with zero then the rest stays the same this is the last cell in the last cell we initialize the last cell with the health which we require so if the value at that cell is positive that means we do not require any extra health to navigate to this cell hence we put one here otherwise we put one minus the health that we require so this is a negative number and minus and this is a negative number so this entire term will be a positive term which gives me the minimum health required to navigate to this cell that is the ending cell then we iterate over all the rows and for all the columns 
and for each i and j pair that is any cell we explore the cell which is right to it and the cell which is below it here right cell and down cell we take the minimum of the values which these cells contain and we subtract the value which we require to move to the current dungeon i and j here because let's say if this is negative then that much health would be added in this value so this result would contain the answer to reach the bottom right cell starting from the cell i and j finally we handle this base case here and we see if the cell is the ending cell then we store this result so this is repetitive here i'm repeating this thing here otherwise we simply put if the result is zero if the result is positive we initialize the cell with that result and if it is negative if it is negative that means the value at the current cell is positive so it is adding me a health therefore i simply initialize this cell with one so this is a bottom up solution where we are building the solution for a larger problem using the solutions of smaller problems now let's discuss the time and space complexity which is same for this approach because we are iterating over all the rows then for each row row we are iterating over all the columns hence which will cover all the unique i and j pairs that means unique cells of the matrix therefore the time complexity would be n cross m while the space complexity is also n cross m because we are using a matrix of these dimensions so you can see that the time complexity is n cross m while the space complexity is also n cross m so i would be implementing the bottom up solution this is a dungeon game class which contains a function calculate minimum hp which computes the minimum health required for the prince to reach the bottom right corner so we first calculate the dimensions of that given dungeon then we declare a dp array for the given corresponding dungeon and initialize it with a very large number that is int max here then we initialize then we initialize the cell which is present right to the target cell and the cell which is present just below the target cell so as to handle the base case then we iterate over all the rows and all the columns compute the value for the current cell and update the dp matrix fine so if the value is negative we assign 1 if it is positive then we assign value then the first position in the dp array will contain the required answer and we return the answer right from here so this is the implementation in c++ let's see the implementation in other languages so this is the implementation in java and this is the implementation in python so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you really like it then make sure to spread the word and i will see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel